Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's explore the consecrated snowfield and the hidden path to the Halleck tree. Looks like the map fragment is not too far up the road. It's entirely thanks to you that I'm so close to home. These great snow-laden lands stretch far to the north, and beyond the ancient bowers, in the liturgical town of Ordner, lies the place to which I must return. Praise the light. It is very bright there. seem like glowstones. Maybe I'm meant to follow them, actually. Friend. Oh, I hear a beetle. if there's something I can do to uh, improve the weather <laughs> or if I just have to explore this entire place like this. How far are we from the map fragment? Uh, pretty far away. But I'm going to head for it. Oh, these things. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to ignore everything until I get the map fragment. Unless it's like a sight of grace. Or if in case it's that, I don't know what that is, but I don't know if I can ignore it. Oh. Well, I'm going to try to. Let's try not to go careening off a cliff. Like, yeah, that'll definitely kill me. Oh, yeah, I'm off the road. The road's this way. Can I even tell that I'm on the road? Is this the road? It's not really any signs of being on the road. Oh, we can see a little bit. Oh, we can see a lot better here. This is so wide and open, it makes me think a dragon might come down.
Huh. Oh, this must be the Halleck tree. How do you get to that? You must be teleported or something, right? I don't see anything connecting to it. That's the entire map, isn't it? Yeah, we have the entire map discovered. This area's quite large, but there's not actually that much here. Most of this is just inaccessible. There's a cave here. Some ruins here and here. There's something there. Something quite large here. Maybe a church over there. Dead Erd tree. Something there. Usually. Oh, what the heck is that? I guess that's this little town. It's got a ghostly glow to it, though. But yeah, there's probably a side of Grace quite near. Usually there are sites of Grace near to the um the map fragments. Hey, puppies. Ooh, someone's riding a doggo. Oh, you have a lot of health. What a cool place! So many wolves! Since Latena came from here, it's no wonder they had Lobo and loved them so much. Oh no! Chasing the thing in the snow! <laughs> oh, that's too cute. Here, <laughs> try attacking. Ah, <laughs> oh, I missed it. I'll get it when it comes back. Does it come back right here? Let me get off my horse so I can have my beast repelling torch. There we go. Ash of War, White Shadows Lure. Hold armament in a brief silent prayer to create a white shadow. The apparition lures in foes of human build who are not in combat, drawing their aggression. Effective on demi-humans even if they're already in a combat state. Hmm. That's very specific. That's very, very specific. So it always works on demi-humans, but if they're a human 
like a humanoid, but not a demi-human. It'll only work on them if they're not in combat. Hmm. Looks awfully special. Ooh, side of grace. Ordina, liturgical town. Well, if I had to guess what place would lead to the Halleck tree, it would be this. So, I don't think I want to explore it just yet. Now that we have the map fragment and we have a site of grace up north, let's check down south. And we're going to have to go by waypoint because I can't see a damn thing. Wait, I thought I put marks here. Did it? Oh, I'm running out of marks. You can't put that many. Okay. Well, let's just put what we want to go to now. Ruins. Cave. This might be something? I don't know. It's big. And then this up here. Yeah. It's gonna be so easy to miss stuff like that when I can't see a damn thing. Ah! I can't check the map, so... <laughs> will you leave me alone if I'm like this? The thing is, I've already hurt you, so I don't think you will. No. Oh, no. I have bigger problems. Very close to marker number one. The big thing on the map is just these pillars. Oh, and there is something here. Golden seed. Oh, right, and the giants. All right, let's take on the giants.
I'm not even sure if they'll attack me. Oh yeah, they do. Who are you? You're different from the others. Dismounter? Gee, I wonder what that does. Trina's torch. I think we're safe enough for now. Oh, there it is. It's a curved greatsword. This curved greatsword wielded by the brawny cell swords of Caden combines the blade of a scimitar with the heft of a hatchet. A difficult to handle weapon that demands much of the wielder's strength and dexterity, but with practice and ability can serve as a versatile weapon even on horseback. The blade of a scimitar with the heft of a hatchet. Hmm. What does it require? 19 strength, 16 dex. It's not really difficult to wield at all, stat-wise. Pretty heavy though, 10. But it is a great sword. A little bit out of my strength though, I'd have to two-hand it. And the torch. Oh, I need 14 faith. Candlestand torch that burns with a light purple flame. The carvings depict St. Trina, but in adult form, somewhat unnervingly. The light purple flame induces sleep. Hmm. Fires of slumber is the special. Blow into the candlestick's flame, creating a stream of hazy purple fire to cover the ground ahead. The intoxicating flames inflict the sleep ailment upon foes. Oh, that purple light sounds nice, though. And I suppose the fact that we can't wield it properly doesn't actually matter. Like, it's not going to produce less light. Oh, that's a nice color. But I got to stick with the beast repellent torch because I got to repel the beasts. Kill less doggies that way. That's done. Let's go to number three. I'm going to get rid of the other ones on the map because it is quite confusing. Oh, they picked up one of the glowstones. Oh, they're scared. They're very lost. It's 
past those weird balls. Hmm, how much does it hurt to be here? Quite a bit. God, you have so many hit points. Might be better just to hit them. Like, I think they're super resistant to magic, so I think I need to just hit them normally. But let me see if I can break their poise. There we go. I think? Oh. No. I don't know. Weird things. We're almost there, though. <laughs> There's another one. I'm not going to fight it. Albert Eric Rise. Must solve the puzzle. What puzzle? Usually there's a thing to read. Pair required a head and then try summoning. Do I have summonable imps? It's sort of sound like somebody disappearing or somebody appearing. Did you respawn back here? I don't think there's any point in killing them again and again. It is kind of fun, though. Well, I think I need the right ashes for that, and I actually, like, I just assumed I probably would have a couple imps uh, in ashes, but I don't. So maybe we find it somewhere here. So next thing I want to check out are these runes. Let's see if I can just go straight there. Or if I'll fall off a cliff and die. There's definitely some sort of a cliff. Just... Hmm. Jump attack ahead. Uh, I think I'll die. Wait, I hear something, though. Oh. Can't I throw down... Okay, if it does that, that means you'll die. Hey, birds. Okay, now I think we have to go... Looks like here. Hey. 
Hey. Killed your baby. Hmm, there are some graves here. Oh, that's a big stompy sound. Hey, gladiator dude. Oh, that's not a good place to be. Rotten Battle Hammer. Rotten Duelist Town. Braggart's Roar. <laughs> 26 strength, only 8 dex. Causes Scarlet Rot buildup. Oh. Large Iron Great Hammer designed for gladiatorial combat, now festering with Scarlet Rot. Weighty enough to crush armor and its wearer alike. Oh yeah, how much... Uh, how heavy is that? Ten. It's actually not too bad. But, yeah, the graves. Just the beetle down below again? I think so. Oh yeah, this is where that giant dragon thing is going to be, isn't it? Okay, from there I should be able to... Yep. Yeah. I should now be able to... Actually, maybe I should kill that thing, huh? Wait, is that... What? He has, like, no hit points. Odd. Did somebody summon you? Yeah. Who is summoning you? Ah, we'll figure that out some other... Yeah! Some other time. Yeah, there we go. We're good. Ooh, is this another... I think this is a different one from the one we encountered before. Although, they do respawn, I think. Now we can kind of see. Can I take the loot, like, without even killing them? No, I have to stop this thing. That area over there... Oh, it's this. There's definitely something there.
flowing curved sword. Nine strength, 17 dex. Legends speak of a master of the sword garbed in blue and his curved blade that was patterned after flowing water. Strong attack unleashes a series of strikes akin to a dance, offering a glimpse into the legend. Ooh, let's see that. It's very pretty. So quick attack. Strong attack. That's just pressing it once. It's like, uh, hold it down. I wonder if I chain it. Looks like it has a two-hit combo if I tap it multiple times. So if I just do it once, it does that. If I do it twice, it does that. It's very cool. So yeah, what's over here? Lots of nasty balls. Didn't want them surprising me. This used to be an Erd tree. this be a something? No. Wait, what? Well, that's a something. Is that... What is summoning those? Shaman leggings. Stalwart horn charm plus one. Oh, I still have that boosting damage. Uh, magic damage negation. Let's go with physical. I don't have the first level of the stalwart horn. Greatly raises robustness, which governs resistance to blood loss and frost. Look at that beetle just hanging on. What a good little beetle. Talented. <laughs> don't give up! Oh, don't give up! Cheering them on. It looks like they're struggling. Oh, they're really just like, oh, it's so heavy! <laughs> oh, oh, there's another one.
What? Wait, what is that noise? Very, very heavy footfalls somewhere over here. Yeah, I think that used to be an earth tree. A little camp. Oh, this is the, the crypt. Well, there's... Oh, there's probably the heavier footfalls. Uh, let's go into the crypt because there's probably a sight of grace right in there. Yellow Onyx Tunnel. Annex? Onyx? That goes nowhere. All the miners seem dead. Okay, I could survive that fall. And I hear something electric. Oh, it doesn't open from the side. I have to fall. Be wary of strong foe. Time for sleep. Oh, there's one left alive. Oh no, multiple. Ah! Is that down there? Be wary of trap. Oh, is this gonna break off when I try to go for it? First off behind and short first off down. in my flask of physic does it tell me oh yeah oh, i don't have unlimited fp so i can't just laser beam it i mean i actually wait i literally don't have the laser beam equipped i only have full moon and comet so no i can't even with my limited bar <laughs>
think we've already had an Alabaster Lord Sword before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> giant ladder? It does look like a giant ladder. <laughs> Come on. Oh, is this that original door? I think it is. And this is the boss. Astel, Stars of Darkness. It's you again. God, they're so cool. so cool okay i guess this is probably as far as damage type goes it's probably just considered magic so let's put on the vastly boost magical damage negation
Ah! I should remember I broke its poise by doing this one time. Ah, yes! I know I can stab you in your eye, but this is probably more effective. of Estelle. I can definitely use that. So, the new spell, Meteorite of Estelle, calls a hail of small meteorites from the void. 60 FP. and takes two slots into 55, so this is a really high-level spell. It takes a lot of FP. Just judging by the picture and everything about it, it seems like it's a souped-up version of Meteorite, which takes 30 FP. So double the cost, higher int requirement, and a hail of small meteorites. So it's probably just a lot more meteorites. There's five in the picture. I wonder if it actually has five. Let's see. I'm not sure how many that had, but yeah, a bunch. Can I hold it down? I think I can. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, oh my god, if you hold it down it just keeps casting more and more and more meteorites until you're out of FP. That's a lot of meteorites. Wait... Doesn't... Doesn't that mean... It's just like the laser beam? That's a lot of destruction. That's that's a lot. Just question is, what's its range? How much damage does it do? Is it going to break poise really easily? It feels like it should because they're gigantic meteorites. Ooh, now we have two things that synergize really well with that FP canceling thing. I think I want more decks. Let's get two points of decks. Okay, let's check out these ruins now. Oh, yeah, can I cast meteorites from horseback? No. I want to sneak up on them. Oh, I should memorize hidden body. No. 
Nice. the spell work if I didn't hold it down? If I just tapped it? Hmm. Yeah, it's more of a... Well, I don't know. Is it an AoE thing? Kinda, maybe? I mean, I guess just straight up Meteorite was an AoE thing. Sorta. But it works really good against large targets. Like the giant. little rats make such cute noises. Oh, no, I'm still hearing those large stompy feet. I don't, I don't think that is these giants in these ruins. It's something else. Oh, hey. drank my physic. Hidden path ahead? Do they mean this or something? Oh, inside of there, huh? Probably just jump in there with my horse. It's an item down there, though.
Oh no. Unendurable frenzy. Maybe that's what the giant just did to us. Definitely an incantation, though. Three in one hit. Nice. Oh yeah, that's a that's a different like bird tree stump over there than the one we already looked at. Let's go check it out. Oh, we're getting invaded. Sanguine Noble. I need to put Night Comet on my things, on my spells. I don't have it equipped, I don't know why. Sanguine Noble Hood, Robe, and Waist Cloth. Well, the Waist Cloth looks nice. Look at that. of dyed black cloth featuring gold embroidery worn by the nobles who serve the Lord of Blood. Known to strike from pools of blood, these assassins are missionaries come to share the gospel of accursed blood. Well, it fits with my eyes. But no. Mm, there was an armor piece. Oh, very bulky. But the waist cloth I was really interested in. 
Oh. Um. Yeah, that could look really pretty with the right top. Let me shift my tops, actually. Like, other than a dress. Something that doesn't go below the waist. I couldn't find anything that I liked more than what I was wearing before. Oh no. If there's something out there. Nothing. Oh, hey. Ah. Fat coin purse ahead. Visions of sleep, but city? Oh, it's covered in blood, isn't it? Let's go. This is going to take me to the Halleck tree. Where the hell are we? Entirely new place underground. Mogwin Palace. Oh my god. It's just a river of blood down there, or a, I guess a lake of blood. Everything's covered in blood. Oh, we can use Torrent here. Side of Grace over there.
Palace Approach Ledge Road. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we're going to explore this lake and palace of blood.